Hi guys, welcome back to Hazat. Um, it's been a while to be in front of the camera and uh, I am getting a little used to it, I'll be honest. Um, I can't believe that coronavirus is still around uh, and looks like it's not going to be going anywhere for the next coming six months. Um, so we as an artist, what we can do right now is get better at our skill sets, provide online workshops and tutorials for you guys. Um, so in this video, uh, this is not a tutorial, this is just a, a clip to showcase how I made these wooden dowels chandeliers. Uh, so I'm not going to go on the basics of dimensions and the details of it, but I'm going to show you a clip of the step-by-step -step process of how I made it. And I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get to it. I think these dowels were 120cm each and I wanted to cut them to 100cm. So I did that at first. I cut 4 dowels of 100cm. And next, uh, 3 dowels I cut into 2 halves, which were I think 52cm each. After that, I, um, with the help of um, sandpaper, I sanded down all of the dowels to create a smooth finish. So I first set these four dowels at around 17 meters apart and attached one of the half dowel, uh, nailed them down. I used a very thin nail for this part because uh, these dowels were themselves uh, quite thin. So I fixed both ends first uh, with the smaller dowels, uh, fixed them with nails and after that uh, the other smaller dowels I placed them 20 cm apart and then first put pericord uh, on it, mask them with the tape so that it stays good and after I uh, removed the masking tape I nailed all of them down. Uh, this is for better security. After they were fully attached and uh, dried up, uh, with the help of a stainer uh, in the color uh, walnut, I stained the entire artifact. Once the uh, stainer was dry, I used a wooden primer uh, to help the color stay intact and to secure the wood. Once it was all dry, um, I the next step was uh, gluing down the creepers. So I first set, set them on the wooden artifact uh, to see uh, how I'm going to glue them down. And then with, I didn't attach all leaves to it, but a few here and there. But I still wanted the creepers and the leaves to flow down. Once that was achieved, I attached a nail down hooks at four corners. So before I proceed into attaching the filament lamps to it, there, I wanted to show you guys other ways of using this product. It can also be used as a partition um, of a room or even a wall hanging. Uh, what I've done here is I've um, hung fairy lights to it and I'll attach a clip of how it looks at night. least was the filament lamps. Uh, two fil with the help of an electrician I attached two filament lamps uh, to create one connection and then those two filament lamps I extended the cords in two opposite directions and let them flow in the product. Uh, electrician attached the filament lights to direct to the connection and with the help of hooks it was suspended directly from the ceiling. So that's it guys, I hope you really like this uh, chandelier, uh, you can try it at home and also I do customize DIYs, designing, uh, refurbishing of furnitures, it can be uh, tilted according to your uh, wants and needs and I would be happy to do it for you, you can approach me through Instagram or through YouTube, Facebook, all these social media channels. Um, I will always see you again, until next time, over and out.